What's up guys, I'm Jayos here and I'm back with another Lightroom tutorial and today I'm gonna talk about Lightroom Smart Previews. Adobe introduced the Smart Preview feature back in Lightroom 5. A Smart Preview is a high quality, highly compressed 25-40 pixel image on the longer side. Smart previews are used by Lightroom CC to synchronize between the Lightroom Mobile and Lightroom Web. Open Lightroom and click on Import. The Import window will appear and to the right of the Import window, there is an option named Build Smart Previews which is unchecked by default. As you can see, in the drop down there are Minimal, Embedded and Sidecar, Standard and 1 is to 1. But in this video, I'll be talking only about the build smart previews. Smart previews are different from other library module previews because they can also be used in the develop module. The advantage of this is that you can develop photos using smart previews when the hard drive containing your original photo files isn't connected to your hard drive. This feature lets you use smart previews to develop photos while you're traveling. All you need is a laptop, a copy of Lightroom catalog and the preview files containing library module previews and smart previews. So you don't have to take the hard drive containing the original photos and worry about losing it while on the road. If you are a Lightroom CC subscriber, smart previews also let you use Lightroom mobile and Lightroom web. Smart previews save space and can be built later as well. Well, you can build a standard one is to one or a smart preview at any time in the library module by selecting the images and going to library and previews and selecting the preview type required. The option to build minimal or embedded and sidecar previews only appears in the import window. When you switch from library module to the develop module, preview Lightroom that used to display your photos changes. Lightroom renders high quality previews that let you see the result of actions like adding sharpening, applying noise reduction and retouching images. These previews are cached rather than saved in a preview file, otherwise they would rapidly eat up most of your hard drive space. Creating one is to one previews in the library module makes no difference to the speed at which Lightroom renders previews in the develop module. But if a smart preview exists for the photo, Lightroom uses a smart preview instead of rendering a developed module preview under one of two conditions. One is that the hard drive containing the original photo file is disconnected from the computer. Second, you have the Lightroom CC 2015 and above. The hard drive containing the original photo file is connected to the computer and you have the use smart previews instead of original for image editing preference enabled in preferences. Note that you zoom into one is to one. Lightroom stops using Smart Preview and renders a full-size preview instead. To conclude, Smart Previews are smaller than full-size previews that enables Lightroom to run faster when Smart Previews are used in Develop Module. The speed increase can be quite significant. If you don't need to zoom into your photos at 100% magnification, then the benefits are considerable. Hope this video was useful. If you think that you have learned something today, then go ahead and smash that like button. I'll be uploading more videos of this kind every week. Thank you.